Okay, so let's continue the final part of our chapters and uh, the final part for today. Part three, finding the inverse. Okay, for you to find the inverse matrix, you need this formula one over determinant A. I, I'm using A here, but for others, you just change them. Multiply with adjoint, let's say we call it A. Once you do this, you get yourself. A negative one here, it means inverse matrix A. Okay, it's not, it doesn't mean one, this one here, this negative one, it means inverse, inverse A, it doesn't mean 1 over A. Alright, it doesn't mean that. Oh, I forgot to write things down. Another way of writing determinant A is this, modulus A. It means you determine them. Just the same thing. I'm, I write this one down because it's easier for you to memorize. Okay, so just now, let's look on our first part. We given the A is 1, 3, 2, 0, 2, 2, negative 2, negative 1, 0. Sorry about that. This is what we calculate. This is our matrix A, right? What do we got for the determinant A? We got ourselves negative 2. What do we got ourselves for adjoint A? Why did I put my paper? 2, negative 2, 2, negative 4, 4, negative 2, 4, negative 5, 2. And how do I find the A inverse? 1 over determinant, 1 over, so what? 1 over negative 2, multiply with 2, negative 2, 2, negative 4, 4, negative 2. I hope I did not miss my negative there somewhere. You should not leave your answer in that form. You need to multiply this inside them. Okay, so this is how... I write down firstly negative one this one here positive one negative one now the second row this is positive two negative two one next one negative two oh now how do I write this one down I write down 5 over 2. Then negative 1. You can write down in decimals, but I think I prefer the fractions over there. 5 over 2. Not even 2 and a half. Because sometimes you might need to take them out again. So that's my inverse A. Are you okay? So what about matrix B? We started with one, two, zero, zero, one, two, one, two, one. Do what do we got just now for determinant B? One. What do we got for our core factor B? Uh, sorry, sorry. I don't need cofactor. What do I need? At join B. B faster. What do I get for at join B? Negative 3, negative 2, 4, 2, 1, negative 2. Who's that girl? <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> I want to know as well. Okay, so what do you get for your be inverse on your own. Ah, come on, lah. try do it on your own first. Shh, try it out. <laughs> I 
don't mean I don't mean to do that, but <laughs> try it out, okay? Yeah, this one is easy. It's determinant one over one, right? <laughs> so basically it's the same thing. Negative three, negative two, four, two, one, negative two, negative one, zero, one. That's not a challenge, sir. It's too easy. Life is easy. Yeah. Until okay, suddenly tough one comes up. Okay now, so on your own. Using all those knowledge from part one, part two and part three. Try to find the inverse of this guy. The question is going to be, this is what gonna going to be in exams, okay? They just give you matrix C is 2, 2, 3, 1, 5, 4, 3, 1, 4. And suddenly the question said, fine. Inverse of matrix C. Good luck. Happy hunting. I know you got the jokes. <laughs> Viewers on your own. Okay, so this is the working steps. I know my handwriting is awesome. I just need a bit of rest and then I can write down properly. Ta da! Wow, someone uses the spent by a row, not the Wolverine. <laughs> it's okay. Are you okay? Satisfied? Yes. Good. Guess whose writing handwriting is this? Girl or guy? <laughs> yeah. Follow his on Instagram. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. <laughs>